virus of 2020. Unexpected, unprecedented, its earthly mission a trail of destruction, over borders, overseas, trampling dreams, hopes, even lives. Who knew but God that this was coming? The world was not watching, waiting, anticipating this shaking, quaking of markets, might and men. The cries of grief, unable to hold for one last time their loved ones, at a distance saying goodbye, cruelly taken from them. And now the sadness, they are after almost unfinished partings. New words of self-isolation, social distancing, lockdown, words unused to being put together, words unused by us until now. We hid from its effects in homes, venturing out, if only for food and sweet fresh air, for the lovely sound of a neighbour's voice that you had never noticed before. This abrupt pause on the world, disconcerting and disturbing, brings a new awakening, kindness, care, a good deed, a common, we're in this together, solidarity, We've reg regressed to days of quiet, of simple times when we paused to smell the flowers or listened to pure bird song, when the air was clean and unpolluted and nature behaved as it could and should. Who knew but God? But God in his mercy has allowed the world to quake, to shake, his wake up to the world, their treasures bound to earth and their trust therein. And what beholds them now? But God, stirring them, calling out, that they would now call out to him, who can restore, remake, reset this spinning world. After all, he created it and us. Call to him in a quiet whisper he hears, or even in a shout. He is not afraid, but call today. He is always there. This too shall pass. <laughs>